Health in Brazil, Wikipedia Audio According to the Brazilian government, the most serious health problems are In 2002, Brazil accounted for 40% of malaria cases in the Americas. Nearly 99% are concentrated in the legal Amazon region, which is home to not more than 12% of the population. The life expectancy of the Brazilian population increased from 71.16 years in 1998 to 76.2 years in 2016, according to the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics. The data indicate a significant progress compared with 55.50 years in 1940. According to the IBGE, Brazil will need some time to catch up with Japan, Hong Kong, Switzerland, Iceland, Australia, France, and Italy, where the average life expectancy is already over 81. Research has shown that Brazil would achieve that level by 2030. Life Expectancy Demographic projections foresee the continuation of this process, estimating a life expectancy in Brazil around 77.4 years in 2020. The decline in mortality at young ages and the increase in longevity, combined with the decline of fecundity and the accentuated increase of degenerative chronic diseases, caused a rapid process of demographic and epidemiologic transition, imposing a new public health agenda in the face of the complexity of the new morbidity pattern. Child health is a central issue on the public policy agenda of developing countries. Several policies geared to improving child health have been implemented over the years, with varying degrees of success. In Brazil, such policies have led to a significant decline in infant mortality rates over the last 30 years. Despite this improvement, however, mortality rates are still high by international standards and there is substantial variation across Brazilian municipalities, which suggests that differentiated policies should be devised. For example, Mortality among indigenous infants in 2000 was more than triple that of the general population, highlighting the importance of tailored health policies to address disparities in health outcomes for Brazil's indigenous peoples. Sanitation, education, and per capita income are the most important explanatory factors of poor child health in Brazil. Moreover, Ethnographic findings of infant mortality rates in northeast Brazil are not accurate because the government tends to overlook infant morality rates in rural areas. These issues tend to be inaccurate due to a huge amount of under-reporting and causes us to question the cultural validity and the contextual soundness of these mortality statistics. There is a solution to this issue however and scientists stress that quality local level cultural data can serve to craft as the alternative and appropriate method to measure infant death in Brazil accurately. In order to not overlook infant mortality rates it is also stressed that there needs to be a focus on an ethnography of experience, a vision that cuts to the core of human suffering as it flows from daily life and experiences. For example, one must get down to the flesh, blood, and souls of infant death in the impoverished households of Brazilians in order to understand and live with those who have to suffer its tragic consequences. Methods of gathering mortality data also need to be respectful of local death customs and must be implemented in places where death is experienced through a different cultural lens. Childhood Mortality about 1.51% of childhood mortality, reaching 2.77% in the northeast region, motherhood mortality, about 42.1 deaths per 100,000 born children in 2016, mortality by non-transmissible illness, 65.7 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants caused by heart and circulatory diseases, 
along with 26.7 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants caused by cancer, mortality caused by external causes, 55.7 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants, reaching 62.3 deaths in the southeast region. UNICEF report shows a rising rate of survival for Brazilian children under the age of 5. UNICEF says that out of a total of 195 countries analyzed, Brazil is among the 25 nations with the best improvement in survival rates for children under the age of 5. The report shows that Brazil's infant mortality rate for live births in 2012 was 14 per thousand. Mortality rates for children at one year of age was 18 per thousand, a reduction of 60 percent. The study went on to show that malnutrition among children of less than two years of age during the period between 2000 and 2008 fell by 77 percent. There was also a substantial drop in the number of school-age children who were not in school, falling from 920,000 to 570,000 during the same period. Christina Albuquerque coordinator of the UNICEF Infant Survival and Development Program called the numbers an enormous victory for Brazil. She added that with regard to public policy aimed at reducing social disparities, Brazil's Bolsa Família program had become an international benchmark in combating poverty, reducing vulnerability, and improving quality of life. Brazil is going through a great moment, but much remains to be done. So, along with the celebrating it is a good time to reflect on the many challenges still to be overcome, Albuquerque declared. Obesity in Brazil is a growing health concern. 52.6% of men and 44.7% of women in Brazil are overweight. 15% of Brazilians are obese. The Brazilian government has issued nutrition guidelines which have caught the attention of public health experts for their simplicity and their critical position towards the food industry. The guidelines are summarized at the end of the document as follows. Infant Mortality Obesity